Ollie. Ollie, it's good doggy. <laughs> Hi, Ollie. <laughs> Hanging out with Kevin and Ollie. Look at that. I got shaky hands because I got too much coffee. What's up? What's up? We're here at the TA. I don't know if you can see it. TA in Effingham. So I'd get a 30 minute break and get my coffee and I missed the Petro exit. So we're here at the TA and ran into, ran into this guy. <laughs> and Ollie. Yeah, he's like, don't forget me. Yeah, don't forget Ollie. Hey, you guys want to see Ollie? <laughs> and, and Kevin's truck is filthy. I can't believe it. It's got South Dakota all over. But you can see where when it was dirty, I wiped my numbers so that the DOT, because this was gray <laughs> before I went through the rainstorm. Well, yeah, and he's got gloves sticking out from his tank. Dude's a mess. He needs to go home. He needs to go home. I'm on my way. All right. I'm on my way. 30 minute break is done. We hung out, chatted a little bit. And uh yeah. Say bye, Ollie. <whistles> bye. Well, we are here in London, Ohio. It's gonna go. I got a delivery in Grove Court. It's gonna go to the Loves. They're off of Allen Creek Drive. There's a new loves, but a friend of mine told me that at four o'clock it was already full. So I got here about six thirty. The cluster of truck stops there at exit seventy nine. And it's cold this morning. I booked the load. That picks up today at two. Um, going to Topeka, Kansas for Saturday night. I guess I might be going into some bad weather, so I don't love that. At any rate, it's uh, 7 a.m. local. Got to do my pre trip and then we'll get on out of here. My appointment's at 8 30, or is the Uber in the Uber world 8 30? What do I mean by that? You know, they like to pad some of the appointment time so you're not late. They're not the only broker to do that, though. Anyways, let's finish this pre trip. Got some coffee and, and uh, we'll get on out of here. Still sitting here at the receiver here in Groveport. Got a 12 mile deadhead. It's cold. I think I said that in the last clip, right? Um. So, here in about 10 minutes, detention will start. And, uh, yeah. Just watching the traffic go by, watch a couple of live feeds. Uh, Jeff did his live feed with the 123 low board, which is, you know, pretty cool, interesting. Kind of shows you how he looks at a low board and how you can make some money. Um, and, uh, and then once I, you know, here's the thing. I'm not in a hurry because I'll get paid to sit here. And then my appointment is 12 miles from here at two o'clock. So and right now it's like 1120. So there, there's no hurry because I know the other customer I'm going to, they will not load me too much early. So I might head to the Loves. I'm actually, I'm gonna head to the new Loves and get a cup of coffee and, and uh, maybe something to eat real quick and then you know, we'll head on over to Grove City. And if we can get past Indy before rush hour, I'll be happy. But a day full of sitting at the dock. 
such as our life. Oh well. Still looking for Lona uh, coming out of Topeka. There was one going to Searcy, but uh, that that pickup or delivery time is kind of I don't know. I don't know if that's doable or not, especially with the weather going bad in that area. But it's only Thursday. We might find something in the morning that might appeal to me. Whatever I got to pick up, got to pick up Sunday morning. So and I don't think. I'm gonna see any of that or too many options with that so. but we'll hook up to uh, the trailer here soon hopefully and if not we'll get paid to sit here finally got finally got unloaded now we're at the other shipper so we are back into the dock here and they told me to chop the wheels and I guess they're using them uh, invisible wheel chops. So we'll play their game. Two. There you go. Oh, there, there's the wheel chalk right there. There you go. Put the invisible wheel chalk there. Have you ever had axle grease or fifth wheel grease on you and you don't know where it's coming from but it keeps getting over every, everything? That's the problem with wearing black clothing, right? I'm looking, I got it all over my arms, my hands, my carpet. I'm like, I'm, I'm, anyways, I'm loaded after dealing with that frustration. And uh, we're gonna get on out of here before rush hour hits. So now we're on our way to Topeka. Plenty of time to get there. Just depends where I want to want to stop tonight and where we're gonna uh, get fuel. I want to get fuel in Effingham. That's that's my goal, but we'll, we'll see. Probably, and you know, we got plenty of fuel. I wanted to fuel in Effingham, but I ended up fueling eating. I think I already mentioned that. And uh, um, it looks like I'll probably chop off in somewhere in Missouri. Maybe even put some fuel treatment. Just in case. But yeah, we'll see. Anyways, that's what we're looking at here. And we made it to the Topeka Travel Center just in time. It was starting to get icy. As you can see ice on the mirrors and the CB antennas. And it is windy. And then <clears throat> Here's what the radar looks like. Meanwhile, meanwhile, my hometown is getting hit pretty hard with the line of storms. They had a tornado warning earlier. Oh, oh but I'm here until tomorrow night. Which I'll probably go in a couple hours early. And, uh, you know, I'm glad I got here when I did because it is starting to freeze, starting to glaze over, and the wind is really bad. I'm light, so I was glad to park. Well, there it is. Now, I'll tell you this. That is a welcome sight. When I first turned the truck on, it kept purging and wouldn't build. But as I got the truck warm, it was, it was able to build now. I called Jeff, he told me kind of what to do. And I guess we're idling, it's about noon. And uh, my delivery's not till 9.30 now, I'll go in about eight. Um, 
eastbound ramp from here was actually closed. I haven't checked Google traffic. I talked to a couple people that said it wasn't too bad going west, but the snow's starting to taper off. But I'm just happy I'm building air because it's Saturday and getting a mobile shop out here, you know, would be a challenge. So I guess we're idling for a little bit until I get this load delivered at least. So, <sighs> gotta love it. Well, we made it. There's my trailer. Look how clean it is since I haven't driven in snow really. This is a place that grabs the trailer and docks it. She said it was going to be a while. They're short staffed because of that stuff. It's been a long day. At least here I can just go to bed. And, uh, They'll have me unloaded in the morning. I hope. <laughs> and there's absolutely nothing on the low boards. Of course, you know, it's a Sunday tomorrow. And the uh, Sunday loads I was looking at that I wasn't sure if I wanted to book or not because the weather, they're gone. And uh, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow. At any rate. If you made it this far, thanks for watching, and uh, be safe out there if you're out in this bad weather. And uh, until next time, peace.